<laughs> hey, Jenna. Hey. Are you cool if I bring in like eight, eight people? Absolutely. All right. All right. Hey, yo. Let's go. and welcome to episode four of the vlog. I am super excited today to be here in the historic Blackstone District of downtown Omaha, Nebraska with three of my great friends, Mike, Dominic, and Jacqueline. They're all siblings. They all share a vision of creating a great space and an experience here at Blackstone Social. Let's get into it. All right, so Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about the history of the space? As I understand, that's really the foundation of this project. Yeah, uh, the building was built in 1900. Uh, it was only about half the size it was at its current state right now. Uh, they added the back half of the building at some point in the uh, early 1900s. It was uh, originally a liquor store, so the front opened up to Farnham Street, was a liquor store. Uh, it eventually turned into some office space. And our dad, uh, the Don, Don DiGiacomo, uh, purchased the building in 1977, uh, moved his hair salon from down across the street from Mutual of Omaha down on Farnham Street, up about four blocks to the west uh, to its existing space right here at 3910 Farnham. Three uh, washing stations over on the other side, um, tanning beds, so it had the whole, it had the whole deal, the whole beauty salon. Here. Everything you needed to get ready Everything for a Friday need, night. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> that hair salon, all those uh, stylists kind of broke up and they moved out and so at that point we're like, well what should we do with the building? Should we just open another hair salon or what? But uh, as you can see, this is what we settled on. Okay, so, so Jacqueline, uh, what makes this space special to your father? You know, I think it was just he, this was the, the first you know, building that he actually bought for his, his business. And he put a lot of heart and soul into it. It's just something that's been in the family for a long time that he didn't really want to let go. Whether we'd be downtown coming home, he'd always want to drive by uh, when, the, when the business was closed to see, make sure the building's secure and it's safe. So you'd always drive by and slow down as you're driving by Farm Street, yep. look in there, make sure everything was all right. He's very proud of the building. Uh, so a lot of times when we talk about really designing experiences, we have to match our physical design and our physical space to the, to the intended outcome or the intended experience. In this case, particularly for the patrons. So I wanna to talk to you guys about, you know, what is the patron experience here at Blackstone Social? When somebody comes and visits, was there a specific experience that you guys defined and then reverse engineered in terms of the way that you structured the space. It was hard to really imagine <clears throat> what it was really gonna look like in the end. Um, and we knew it was an old building and we knew it had a lot of character. So we kind of want to take that and run with it. It starts, it's essentially a feeling that we are trying to grasp. So uh, when they're walking by and the garage doors open, we see the energy inside. It goes down even to the music, the music selection that we pick at the, at the beginning of the night is different than it is at the end of the night. Um, so where you come in for a glass of wine at five o'clock, you're listening to a little more mu metal, mellow music, and as the night goes on, the energy continues to build. So, so with the friendship bar, you're almost trying to facilitate connections, whether that be mm -hmm. from two people that know each other walking out, or potentially two people that are just standing and waiting for a drink. Exactly, sure. and not only that, but the garage door is what uh, draws those people in. Mm -hmm. So you have the social inter interaction inside, you've got the friendship bar, you've got the tight quarters, but then you have this garage door that opens us up to the world and you see the social interaction from the outside. The whole feeling, the whole interaction from the interaction with the staff to the interaction with the other customers to the feeling of the, of the interior, the design. Yeah. And so it, it all culminates with uh, hopefully a fantastic experience that you get by the time you walk yeah. out. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so we're talking a lot about some of the specifics around the environment and how that the environment then is essentially built around a, uh, an intended experience. Uh, Jacqueline, you told me a story the other day about your first Yelp review and how that was really targeted at a very specific piece of the interior <laughs> design. 
<laughs> so tell us about that. One of our first reviews were the bubble lights that are located in the back of the bar. One of the things I wanted to do was to soften the area a little bit. So in the back, <clears throat> um, with the bubble lights, it's a little bit more, again, soft, a little bit more elegant. And then as you come to the front of the bar with the um, pendant lights, you know, it's just, um, a little bit, it's just a different feeling, even from the back to the front. Which I just think is so amazing how, when you look back four or five years from now, your first Yelp review is about a lighting fixture, yeah. Yeah. Which, was a, which was a very intentional decision that you made it was. that had an immediate impact on uh, you know, the promotion of, of, the, of the space. So you know, in my experience walking through Blackstone Social, it just feels like it fits in this neighborhood. And I understand that this neighborhood is, is a pretty exciting up and coming part of Omaha. So can you talk a little bit about some of the design decisions or, or the thought process of putting together a space that fit appropriately within this very fluid dynamic uh, area of Omaha? Well, the, the neighborhood's a very, very historic neighborhood for Omaha. When it had the Admiral Theater here and the Blackstone Hotel, it was a very, you know, hopping part of Omaha and it, 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 had, it did decline. Eight years ago, uh, a development company, a couple gentlemen that our Omaha gentlemen came in and they saw an, a tremendous opportunity for this neighborhood to, to be redeveloped. And on that same note, a couple of the existing businesses at the time, Dan over at Sullivan's, uh, Brad at Iowan Exposures, uh, they also had that vision to grow this neighborhood. They invested in the neighborhood. Um, and so it was existing businesses as well as green slate development that really uh, energize this neighborhood. I think that's so fascinating that you essentially, that step one was to gut the place. Yeah. Step two was to essentially sit in the place for about nine months as you started to formula, formulate this plan. And step three was then to bring people in that were not only talented, but clearly had the same vision in terms of how the space would fit uh, in this great neighborhood. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Remember I told you last night, yeah. I, I've met your dad over 40 times. And every time we say goodbye, he says, he says, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> unless, you're, unless your name ends with a vowel and you're from Omaha. We're a bunch of Italians, we'll be over. Want to start over? <laughs> hey!